Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. We are back once again with a video covering SoFi Technologies Incorporated. This is ticker symbol SOFI or SoFi. Uh, same name as the company. Obviously, they keep it nice and easy for you there. Uh, today was a very, very good day in the markets for SoFi. They were up uh, right around 4% on the day, 3.97%. We closed yesterday at 12.58. We're closing today at 13 Oh, 08. Uh, very, very strong showing from SoFi. Um, overall in the markets, uh, really, really strange day up and down all over the place with the, uh, you know, major indices. Dow Jones down just a little bit. S&P up just a little bit. NASDAQ down just a little bit. And the Russell was up just a little bit. So the market didn't entirely know um, what to make a lot of, of a lot of the new news. Um, you know, the Fed talking, uh, Russia, Ukraine stuff. Um, you know, we had a ton of different earnings reports and stuff come out. The, the market didn't really know what was going on, but SoFi investors knew that they were hyped up. They were excited. They thought today was a great day. Uh, not only SoFi going up, but again, SoFi outperforming all the major indices. That is a very, very good sign. Uh, and in this video today, we're just going to be going over some, some news, some different stories surrounding SoFi and, you know, the company and the stock. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I'd appreciate that a ton and subscribe to tip today and all my latest content. Uh, as always, there's going to be no financial advice in this video i'm not telling you guys to buy anything sell anything buy sofi sell sofi nothing like that i'm just covering some stories giving my thoughts and opinions on some news uh you know talking about things sometimes from my own investing perspective but nothing that you guys should act upon nothing like that uh you know do your own research make your own decisions just kind of talking about what's going on so uh let's get right into this uh hey sofi update for the year we're only down 16.58 percent SoFi stock in 2022 at this point. Um, January was very, very rough. Uh, February so far, uh, you know, still a little bit down, but hey, we're only down 1% in February. This is after being down, what, 20% in February? So, you know, things are, are turning around a little bit. Things are looking a little bit better. Yes, in the very first trading day of the year, we're at 1568. So we're still down from there. Um, but again, things seem to be maybe potentially hitting a bottom in the market as a whole. Things maybe potentially seem to be turning around. Um, I, I am excited about a lot of the stuff I see in the market right now. And I think there's a ton of awesome dip buying opportunities. I'm definitely buying stocks very, very aggressively right now. I'm selling puts on a lot of companies um, because I don't think, uh, or, you know, at least in my opinion, I don't think stuff will go much lower. It definitely can. Um, but I am definitely starting to get very, very bullish, very, very optimistic about the next coming like six to 12 months in the stock market. I think it's going to be an awesome time. You know, will we see insane growth or anything like that? No, but I think, um, you know, we won't see things going a lot lower, which I think will be exciting. And then, Hey, hopefully 2023 can be an exciting year. Um, and I see that, you know, when I look at SoFi as well, uh, some of the news and stuff coming out, this is from a couple of days ago, actually. Anthony Noto, the, the SoFi CEO, um, says that, hey, he owns Bitcoin and Ethereum, and he warns that companies who don't take advantage of crypto will be left behind. Now, I am someone who is a big proponent of crypto. Um, you know, I like my companies and I like my CEOs to have some Bitcoin, have some Ethereum. I don't mind if my companies have Bitcoin, Ethereum on the balance sheet, um, especially because you know, obviously in short time frames, crypto is very, very volatile. But if you look over the last, you know, five, 10 years, it's one of the best performing asset classes. It's an asset that, uh, you know, while the US dollar is, is going down every year, you know, inflation eating away at that stuff, crypto, having some of that on your balance sheet, your holdings, whatever that can, you know, give you returns uh, and oftentimes more returns than your own stock, you know, buying back shares. It can give you better returns than just holding cash, you know, stuff like that. Um, I, I think it's really, really great. I love, um, you know, especially from obviously a fintech CEO, um, you know, uh, speaking highly of crypto, I, I think is a very, very good sign. It'll be interesting to see, you know, maybe SoFi will, will get more into to crypto and stuff in the future. Um, but I thought this was very, very cool. I thought this was a good thing. Um, obviously, some people see this as a bad thing. Some people see this as a negative. Some people want their CEOs, their companies, whatever, to, to stay away from crypto. And hey, I totally get that too. But at least in my opinion, I thought this was really, really cool. And I, I know a lot of other investors, I'm sure, will be excited about this as well. Um, you know, if crypto does pop off in the future, hey, you know, we own, we own Bitcoin, we own Ethereum, we own some of the more obscure in different cryptos. Um, this is, you know, just a really, really good sign for me, at least uh, in terms of SoFi and Anthony Noto. We also had this, uh, people talking about, uh, you know, the loss of free ATMs for upgrades. 
Um, you know, where is the fresh, improved banking experience? This comes from SoFi. I had to post my frustration here in the hopes that I'm not the only one that feels this way, but I feel robbed. The grandfathered ATM fee refunds uh, was a very important feature for me, and I went ahead uh, against my better judgment, upgraded my accounts yesterday because in every piece of information SoFi sent out regarding the, uh, this, they refer to a fresh, improved banking app experience. I was excited to finally have fresh, new user experience. Lo and behold, though, I find out after the upgrade that the only noticeable difference is that there was a name change to checking and savings, and you can view your transaction in the same place. Place. that's it it's still cluttered with stupid pointless ads uh, to shop local get reward or invite friends and get paid there's no ability to move around cards uh, on the home page there's not even a relay tab in the app i uh, sincerely hope there is a bigger update around the corner so obviously this was you know a disgruntled poster on sofi and i do think it is uh, important you know in in companies stocks whatever to hear the the positives and negatives that everyone is saying um but there are some people asking about this you know like hey uh, adding in a post from sofi uh how the checking upgrade to one percent apy takes away free atms if grandfathered in can anyone validate this and they said yes it get read it gets rid of every atm being free this should help their bottom line as well Fifty five thousand nationwide i have one literally a mile from my house i will gladly uh switch over so that's kind of interesting but again people are saying hey this is going to help their bottom line but there are also some people saying hey uh you know this might kind of suck in terms of the user experience end of things um and hey you know like he said this is surely an issue people will feel strongly about so for some in some ways this could be good news for sofi in some ways this could be bad news for sofi but just kind of keep in mind this is something that's out there right now that that people are talking about um also this i thought was very very big news so SoFi institutional ownership is leaping up with the big boys. This comes from the SoFi stock subreddit. Uh, SoFi institutional ownership has jumped to 53.23% with whales buying up shares while the paper hand retailers are selling. The institutional ownership percentage is getting closer to the big boys like Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Tesla. The institutions with expert analysts see the potential and load up when others are fearful. Um, SoFi should have a good uh, quarter four earnings. You know, hopefully we'll see. That's coming very, very soon. Um, you know, they have all this different advertising and stuff going on. And yes, people are very, very excited about this as well. Very, very cool to see. I think one reason why we're seeing so much institutional buying is obviously, hey, look at this stock. 52 week high, 24.95. Right now we're at 13.08. Great investors are going to try and buy low and sell high. If there's a company that they believe in, that they think is a great idea, that has a ton of growth, potential, prospects, everything, you know, SoFi has had a ton of awesome catalysts, uh, just even in the past couple of months, it seems, seems like everything's pointing in the right direction, people are hyped up and excited, and you can get this company still at an amazing, amazing discount, 1308 as opposed to 25, and then even higher that some analysts are projecting into the future, you know, some people think it's going to 20, 25, 30, whatever, in the short term, uh, you know, that's obviously why a lot of different uh, people are going to be buying this thing up. People are really, really excited about SoFi right now. And again, yes, people are absolutely paper handing it. We know that because the stock, again, is down 17%. But right now, the whole market's down. There's a lot of amazing buying opportunities out there. Uh, I do think SoFi is one of those, but I think there's a lot of other great ones as well. Um, but yeah, hey, institutions are buying this thing up. People are hyped up and excited about that. It's not usually a bad sign. Um, and yeah, this as well, just notice the opportunity to add margin to my SoFi Invest account. Uh, this person posted a screenshot, you know, new invest on margin, eligible members, can I use margin investing to increase buying or withdraw cash without liquidating stocks? Very, very exciting. This is obviously something we've talked about before. Just kind of following up on it once again, people are really, really excited to have more features, more options. Some people love using margin. Uh, that's something that would be a deal breaker for some people to transfer over. Some people when they transfer over, they're very, very excited to see it. It might be a reason for some people to transfer over, you know, especially when you're trying to get away from something like Robinhood or, or whatever other competitor out there uh, you know you need to have the full suite of features people obviously want option trading and stuff like that hopefully that'll be coming soon but margin is a great next step in just becoming an overall uh, more complete total package of financial services and becoming more competitive uh, you know with some of the other people out there also I know that Robinhood uh, recently today posted that they are upping their margin uh, kind of interest rates from two and a half percent to three percent uh, because, you know, the Fed's increasing rates, uh, banks, everything, you know, just rates are going up in general. So Robinhood has to increase them as well. They're trying to keep them competitive. But I think that's also good news for, you know, somebody like SoFi or all the Robinhood competitors out there. As Robinhood has to increase their rates, hey, things become better in a more competitive environment for guys like SoFi. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Tell me to drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about SOFI. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.